Hello everybody, I hope that you are doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I have once again another good one for you where we are going to be diving together into the Bitcoin chart, going over what we love and that is the technical levels here on Bitcoin to prepare us for the trades coming up. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this video. I'll obviously go over some educational reasons of why we've seen the moves that we've seen and what we are looking for next in terms of the really important levels that we have marked out on the Bitcoin chart. So yeah, without further said or do, let's get into the chart and I'm going to be covering today why I'm actually in a short position on Bitcoin and where I'm looking to take this to next. So it all stems, the reason why I'm short at the moment, off of this really important parallel channel that we've had marked out. Again, once again, this level has been marked out for over a month with the top of the channel coming in there at around $24,200. We all know what happened the first time we tapped this level. We come up, we saw the rejection, we came back down. Where to? The middle of our parallel channel. So as I mentioned a few videos ago, this parallel channel really is running the market. It dictated the high and it dictated the higher low that was put in there. It then came up for another higher high and this is where I just want to cover something really briefly of why we rejected from where we did here. Okay, so there's a few reasons. The breakout essentially was on very low volume. It was on a weekend. It was on very low volume. Okay, and this is not what you want to see on a breakout. Combined with that, on the time that you spent above this highs for the failed auction, you also had this bearish CVD divergences. Okay, so this was updated into my uh, read only trading channel inside of the Discord. And it's just something that I noted. Okay, you do not want to see this if you're looking for a high term time frame breakout. Again, this is a big high term time frame channel. What you want to see on that breakout is a real big increase in open interest. You want to see the volume coming up. You want to see that positive delta coming in. Okay. But you got the opposite of that. You actually got a weak volume breakout with those bearish CVD divergences. Okay. So if you had noted that, you would have thought to yourself, okay, this is definitely not a breakout I want along. And you know, period. That's what you would have wanted to note to yourself. This is definitely not classed as a strong breakout. And obviously with the same, you did come back into that channel. Okay. And as soon as you've come back into here, you've really started to confirm to yourself, okay, we've just seen a failed auction. We've just seen a rejection off the top of our channel. This is high term time frame resistance. Okay. You know, you've got to get, be prepared at this point for downside. Okay. Um, and there was actually a really interesting question that I had on the champions live stream on Sunday. And that was Daniel, is this like consolidation below resistance? Are you going to be like scared or worried to short this? And my answer was simply no. My answer was no, <laughs> I'm not scared to short this. I am going to short this. I have shorted this. And just because we're consolidating here below resistance, I actually feel that the short trade is still the better trade. Okay. Trade the range until we break. The week out has been break. We've seen those bearish divergences. And then we actually saw, this was just before the stream, this real perfect back test off the channel. Again, this is the same level that we've had at marked on for a month now. We come back and we back tested that really, really nicely on the local range value area high. We got another rejection. At this point then, you've actually seen the market structure change. Okay, so you've seen market structure change, clear rejection off the top of the channel, the bearish CVD divergences, high term time frame resistance. Okay, and then this was really simply the next update that I gave to my team. Clear as day, really, really simple stuff. We had seen the rejection off of that channel. That was the back test of the higher term time frame channel on the point of control. We've clearly seen a market structure change off of this, and we have some important levels towards the downside. So I've really simply said to my team then yesterday, um, I'm just going to remain patient for lower prices. The plan that I gave in the Champions live stream is now active. Okay, so we had this plan of recognizing that we're at high term time frame resistance. We knew the value of high importance below us, and so it's that key moment of just saying, "Hey, we're ready for this. Let's remain patient. Let's remain." Patient for lower prices, they're going to be coming. And well, 24 hours later, here we can actually see lower prices are coming. So we can see we now have a few key levels. I just, that's talked about what's happened. I've talked you through why we rejected from where we did here with those bearish CVD divergences, how we come back into the channel, rejected off the top of the channel once more on the local range value area high, come down with changed market structure. You can clearly see here something as simple as support. Okay, you can see here how you've got support here, support, 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 flipping into resistance, support, resistance, market structure change, higher term time frame, level, back tests of levels, bearish CVD divergences, like everything you'd want to really confirm this sort of bearish setup. Okay, 
And now it brings us to what's happening right now. Well, we can still see locally on every time frame you look at from the five hour to the four, five minute to the four hour right now, we are, we are downtrending, okay? We are in this local downtrend. So we're in a local downtrend off of higher term time frame resistance, but we do have this key level just below us, okay? And this really stems from the range value area high. So this is something that you have to remember. We are at range value area high right now, so you can obviously get, get this as support. Uh, and we have this key level down to around these series of lows. So we are at a region of support. Of course, if we lose this support and flip it to resistance, then it's just the same as what can happen here. Support can flip into resistance or support can hold. You have to judge the reaction based off of what's happening live in the time. There's actually something that I noted live in the time uh, this morning inside of the group, and that was also that we had this local resistance just above us. And obviously from here, we did make another low. So since I posted this update in the group, we, we, we made another low. Okay, we can actually see this down on the lower term timeframes. Okay, coming back up into these uh, VWAP, okay, you're unable to clear that on the uh, WPOC, and that's your local resistance, okay, so you have your local resistance as that, and you then you have your local support, and then the way that I would judge this today, well, really simply, I'm in a short, I'm patient for lower prices, uh, the first price that I'm aware of is around this value area high to this key level signifying these lows, okay, if we get a nice reaction offer there, then I can counter it with a long position. I would not close that short position yet, but I would counter it with a long position and then see if we can reclaim the WPOC on the VWAP. Hey, that for me would be the first uh, sign of strength, okay, where I could then maybe take some more profits on the short position. Okay, alternatively, we have this key level and we really simply just break it. If we really simply just break the level, get a back test or even tap the level, reject the, the uh, view app and just continue back down with the bearish market structure, I'll simply remain in those short for lower prices. And then of course I have my next levels. I know the next, the next levels to be looking towards for trading. Okay, so I hope that you can kind of see the thought process that I'm going through every single day with this. It's mark, it's do the technical analysis, mark out the levels, wait for the reaction. Okay, for example, you hit a level, you start to get these divergences forming with the volume, you know, this is the thing, this is basically what you're waiting for. You're waiting for the order flow to give you a level of confirmation, okay? Because without that level of confirmation, you really are trading blind. This is what we call trading blind. You need to have this information in front of you to really go from a gamble to, hey, you know, <laughs> for example, you see that, I'll just show you this up at, at the high that you actually formed, okay? You can see here massive bearish divergences, okay, really big bearish divergences, low volume breakout overall, you have to remember you can take the average of every time you've hit the top of the range. This is actually a, on, on the average of the top of the range, a low volume breakout with then a lot of trap longs and it really confirmed as you come back down on this candle. Then you had seen trap longs, bearish CVD divergences, low volume breakout. You know, you see all of this live in the time and you're thinking to yourself, wow, this is a really, really, really nice failed auction. You then get the back test perfectly, you come down. So it all stems from having originally done the technical analysis and then having the patience to wait for the setup that you've been waiting for and then trading off of the confirmation of that. So I hope I haven't confused you too much. It is a little bit high level, so to speak. You obviously have to understand what I'm talking about here, otherwise you are going to be a bit lost. But again, if you want to learn everything that I'm talking about here, Sorry, what I was going to say there before I got cut off was that if you want to learn more from us, of course, over on the website now, we've got the all of the educational content. That includes the courses itself, as well as the new speedrun modules, which is a five-minute condensed version of the one-hour-long live streams. Uh, on top of that now, you've obviously got the daily live streams every single day, one of which is live right now, as you can see here. Oh, yeah, George is going to be talking to you through the charts live in the time. Uh, you've obviously as well now got well, the short and the long versions of that. Uh, for example, today you'll also have another live stream. So that's three members live streams today with the one of Igor talking you through the legacy markets. So the stock market, Forex markets. So you've got everything that you need, as well as not only all of those live streams by some of the best traders in the world right now, you've also got the Read Only Coaches channel for example, I'm coming in here, well, all of the coaches are coming into their own channels, giving you clear, concise things that we're looking at on the charts. No hindsight analysis. It's, hey, these are the levels, these are the reactions that we're looking for. Let's trade the reaction, then we'll give you the insights live in the time as they're happening. For example, with those bearish CBD divergences, you know, recognizing things, things, making you all aware of them. 
okay? So we've got everything that you need to succeed right now, the educational material on top of live streams by the coaches, as well as the read-only coaches-only channels as well to keep you all informed and updated of what's going on throughout the day. So yeah, if you want any more of that, that's over on the website. I'll just say for myself, thank you ever so much. I hope you've thoroughly enjoyed this video and we'll catch you over inside of the Discord. Thanks everybody. Have a brilliant day and goodbye. Cheers.